Hi everyone and welcome to my channel ICT Active Learners. Today I am here to explain Cambridge IGCSE ICT 2023 February March Paper 3 Web Authoring Part. So before the web authoring part we need to finish the file management as well. So in the file management part they ask us to create a folder called TCC. So I will just copy the name here and create a folder here with the name called TCC. And then after we need to locate the following files into this folder. So desktop, I have already my folder here. So I need the file m23bat, logo, web page and m3 text so i will just copy this from here and then we'll paste it over here into the folder then open and edit the file m23 logo.jpg so it has the simple editing like flipping the picture rotation and resize so it can be done in paint application as well so open it with paint application this is how it will look like then after you need to flip it horizontally so just simply click here rotate flip horizontally then they ask you to rotate it on 180 degrees so rotation 180 degree so it will look like this and then we need to resize to the dimension 900 pixel by 180 so resize pixels unlock the maintain aspect ratio so 900 and 180 and now click on lock the aspect ratio so this is how it will look like then after you need to save this image in your folder in the PNG format using the name TCC logo underscore your candidate number and your yeah only candidate number. So we will click on file save as a PNG format and with the name as they mentioned and then your candidate number. So I need to go to uh, desktop to the folder called T -T TCC here itself will save it. Now close this folder I mean the paint application and then display the content of your TCC folder showing the folder name all file types file extension image dimensions and file size so we will go to TT tcc folder then view and content to show all the details and then we need to take a screenshot to place it in our evidence as evidence one so we will just simply uh, go to the folder and take a screenshot with the folder name and the content so we'll just simply go to the evidence document and we will type there evidence one and that's our evidence one that's what we have in the file management part moving forward to the web page part now you are going to create a style sheet and part of a web page for the Tawara Cricket Club the web page and style sheet must work in any browser all color codes are in hexadecimals and any new color code must also be in hexadecimal. Make sure that your style sheet contains no HTML. Make your HTML and style sheet as efficient as possible. So create a style sheet in your TCC folder called mtcc.css. So I will open the application called web expression 
or expression web to create a style sheet so right now it will create a web page for me we'll just close this one a new page and i want a css file i will save this css file into the folder on desktop tcc with the name as they mention that's it so it's going to be saved as a css file now we need to add the following specification into our style sheet so we need a background for our web page so we'll just simply click on format new style for the body of our web page we want background and the color is going to be red green blue rgb so the color code is going to be 60 then after green 04 and then blue which is 0a so we will use this as our color code so we use the hash symbol first and then we type here 6d then 04 and then 0a that's how the color is going to be apply and okay and then next step we need to have h1 h2 h3 and paragraph style with this font family specifications so format a new style with h1 for example and then the font i will just use the name as they mention uh it is domino domino and then domino regular comma domino space regular and then we should have a serif font so comma serif font and then just click on apply and okay and it's going to be for h1 h2 h3 and paragraph for all of them and the font color should be yellow so we can just simply say here that color okay color of the font yellow so pick a color from here a yellow color and the color code is ff ff and 00 that's it now next step we need to have for the table central align width in the window of the browser so we just simply click here format and table okay apply and okay and then the code i will just write here that margin left auto and then a semicolon margin from right also auto so that's how it will be in the center of the window and the border collapse not visible and then we just simply say here semicolon and border collapse collapse that's all after this we need to have our name center number and candidate number as comment at the start of the style sheet so we just move here and then we write here a backslash then a star our name then center number and candidate number and then a space star and backslash so that's what they ask us to do and now you need to save the spreadsheet i will just simply click on save and then you need to place a copy of your style sheet in your evidence document make sure that the contents are easy to read so we just screenshot this part of the 
style sheet and that's that's going to be our evidence too we simply have the contents now it's easily readable now next step we need to open in your folder tcc the web page called m23 tcc so open then desktop tcc folder and the web page we will open here this web page so in design view it will look like this so what we need to do is enter each cell contain a letter which should not appear okay replace the letter a with an image called tcc logo so we'll just click here insert a picture and that picture is here with the name called tcc logo underscore your candidate number so that's our logo for example then next step they ask us to do what the content of the file m23 text should be in cell b so we will double click here and control a we will press to select all then control c to copy and then we will go to cell b to replace the text b with the data as they mentioned and then c with an image m23 bat and here we need the m23 bat a picture m23 bat insert that's a logo or picture of a bat and then the next step in cell D we should type that web page created by then followed by your name center number candidate number so we we'll close this one expression web cell D we remove whatever is written here and then we type our name our center number and candidate number that's all and then we need to apply heading style h2 to all the cells b and d so we click here and apply the h2 and here also h2 that's all and then make sure that the aspect ratio of both images is maintained yes it is edit this web page so that the table fit 85% of the browser window so right click table properties width in percentage 85 apply and ok and the next step is to attach the style sheet you created in this step so we just click on format css styles attach the style sheet browse and that's the style sheet we created so that's how it will look like now and then after they ask us to do what save the web page well, okay one thing which we need to make sure if you just click here uh, they say domino or domino regular or serif for h1 h2 h3 so if these fonts are available then that's fine otherwise it should be a serif font so it look like this now and then you need to display your web page in the web browser and take a screenshot to place into the evidence document so let me just as they mentioned we need to save the web page save and then click on file and preview into the web browser so this is how it will look like and then what you need to do is you need to take a screenshot of it okay you can just simply do what they yeah you can simply adjust it something like that and then you take the screenshot which includes the path as well that's all and you can just simply include here as 
evidence evidence 3 that's your web page that's how it will look like and then the next step you should display the HTML source copy of all the HTML source so simple click on code control A to select everything right click and then just copy and you can just simply paste it into your evidence document as evidence 4 which is the last evidence of this question paper so that's all and you need to print the evidence document then so that's all from the web page part of this question paper hope you have learned about how to create the web pages and style sheets and attachment of style sheet and the properties of a style sheet so that's all and uh, thank you very much for watching this video and uh, press the subscribe button to keep the updated videos and get the updated videos thanks for watching bye